Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at Star Wars again. Yay, more Star Wars, Galaxy of Heroes. And today we're going to be taking a look at what I feel is a fundamental uh, problem within Star Wars Galaxies, and that is the lack of healers. Um, every other faction has healers, period, with the exception of the Empire. Yes, you do have Shore Trooper, but he's locked behind a high level cap, he's locked behind a paywall, he's locked behind a whole bunch of other things, and most importantly, and this is the most scary point, is he is required for an Empire ship for the space side of the game. If you're new to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, it's kind of a bit of a spoiler for you, but they have a Ground Wars variant where you're using Ground Troopers, and then they have a Spatial variant of the game where you're using Starships. Um, pretty much you need specific Ground Units in order to unlock specific uh, space units and the fact that the shore trooper is it, it, it is not even technically considered a support or healer he's considered a tank and so in my book he doesn't register as a healer he has one heal that's it um, you do have some cat people like general veers who has some abilities for example he's an aggressive tactician um, whenever an enemy defeat while veers is active imperial trooper allies gain 80 percent chance of the gain offense up and a 40% chance to gain 25% turn meter. But again, that doesn't heal, nor does his uh, leadership ability. All that does is give them speed and offense, really good abilities, um, really easy uh, character to unlock. Um, I'm, I'm currently working on my uh, Imperials, and this is the huge blaring problem that is with the Empire, which is there is no true healers. There's no true support yes you have Grand Moff Tarkin who is considered support he's also required for the space combat side of the game however he still has no abilities that let your Empire units heal so in things like uh, the ground assaults where you're taking out the rebels and whatnot you have no way to make your character lastable to, to keep them going there's just no way you can do it um, then you've got Colonel Sark again um, As far as I know he has no ability again. He has he, let's look at his skills maxed out Do physical damage to all, all enemies with a 50% chance to stagger them dispel all, all buffs on their primary target for each active Imperial trooper ally Do 10% more damage and reduce the cooldown of this by one a Again, there is no dedicated healer also. There is one glaring problem which is when you think of Star Wars and you think of the Empire, you think of the Emperor, you think of Vader, uh, you think of Tarkin, you think of the TIE Fighter pilot, you think of the Snow Trooper, you think of the Storm Trooper, you, do, you think of the Royal Guard, you don't think of the Death Trooper, you don't think of the Magma Trooper, you definitely don't think of Gar Saxon, you forget, I'm almost 40 years old, in fact I am 40 years old, but the point is, I remember watching Star Wars, the original trilogy, you know, in New Hope, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, in, in the theaters, I remember seeing them. So, the Magma Trooper made one brief appearance on Tatooine, so that that means he gets his own character in the game. EA, hello, Disney, uh, no. Where is the Scout Trooper? Hello, the most I iconic Imperial unit next to a Storm Trooper. Hello, Dave here reporting. Next to Dave here is the Snow is the Scout Trooper, and where is he? He's in the game. You can fight scout troopers in the game. So why can't we get a scout trooper? Why can't you make the scout trooper a support unit that's a healer? Very similar. Okay. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Very, very similar to... Oh, that's right. He's rebel, not resistance. Sorry. Very similar to Charrot. Literally, you could cut and paste Charrot's abilities, you know, give him like Imperial names and whatever, and try it with an Empire build. You'd be amazed at how viable you have just made the Empire as an actual faction slash you, uh, that you can use in things like Territory Wars, in things like uh, 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 PvP, in things like uh, uh, Rancor Raids and, and, and AT uh, 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 and, 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 you know, and all the, the dungeon raids and whatnot. So it's not that hard. You can do it. You, you've literally got units that, <clears throat> that you can base them on. 
For example, Chirrut is a healer. Okay, Ahsoka is a healer. Okay, most people don't seem to understand this, but so Ahsoka can heal in both her uh, fulcrum form and in her. Um, where is the other form? Uh, oh, that's right. The other form is. Uh, uh, um, Jedi in every form. And um, there you go. Look at the Jedi healers. Healer, 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 healer. Obi-Wan, healer. Do you see? Look, look at her leader. There you go. Jedi Knight Sisters have 20. And, and, do, do, do you see? And I believe it's protective maneuver. There you go. Heals. So you've got healer units within every other faction Rebel, uh, um, Resistance. You, even, even in the Resistance. Okay, if you go to, I've probably looked right past them three times already. There you go, if you go to Resistance, um, let's see, you've got Jedi Training Ray, she can heal. Um, BB-8, again, you've got all these really cool support units that can actually help and heal. Yes, I'm, I'm really low on my Resistance characters. And, you know, I, again, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the newer movies. Um, but point is there's there's just no healers phoenix gets healers chopper he's a healer most people don't seem to understand this maintenance protocol start this turn chopper regains 15 percent of his maximum health in addition whenever he is damaged by an attack he gains protection up to 15 percent and if he doesn't have protection up additionally chopper gains 30 percent chance to assist uh, uh blah, blah, blah. See, and that literally spreads out to the other phoenix members because of Hera's ability. And this is, yeah, as you can see, this was the, the units I was grinding on to, to get maxed out. But my point still stands. Even the Phoenix Squad, okay, gets a healer. So why is it that the Empire does not? There you go, healer. Let's look. Is there any Imperial healers? Nope, none. These are all designated healers. A, a Jawa, a freaking Jawa gets a dedicated healer. Okay, Jedi's get two dedicated healers. Ewoks get a dedicated healer. Night Sisters get two dedicated healers. The Tuscans, even for crying out loud, get a designated healer. So don't you think that this is a huge freaking problem that you're overlooking? The fact that the Empire. One of your main stable factions doesn't even get a healer. None. And you wonder why people are, are, are only jumping on the Emperor Palpatine, Darth Vader, uh, uh, Thrawn battle wagon. And then literally shoving in uh, 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 um, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Clone Wars Kenobi, uh, or, or Han Solo. You know, simply because they need the tank. And they need the initial burst stun damage so that they can stay alive. I get it. Most people think that the Empire didn't care about its units. You are so wrong. Seriously, you now own Disney, EA. You now own certain, cop uh, certain uh, uh, IPs about Star Wars. Do some research. You will find that the Empire did actually bloody care and did designate certain certain troopers as healers. Okay? To make sure that their men stay on the front lines. It's not hard. Okay? You find that out in the novel Death Trooper. Not related to this guy. Bless you. Not related to this guy. It's a novel about a zombie virus in the Star Wars universe that was created by an Imperial doctor trying to find a way to keep stormtroopers alive. And yet, hello, we get nothing. We get an Imperial probe droid that purposely kills itself. That purposely takes itself out of the freaking battle. You're going on the opposite end here. We've got no scout troopers. Hello, that's a big freaking travesty. Okay, we've got walk we've got walker captains, i.e. General Veers, and Mr. Nobody, who only appeared like briefly, freaking Colonel Stark. And yet, why can't we actually get a walker unit? 
why can't we get like the the the, the scout walkers or, or speeder bike units extremely fast extremely high critical chance but extremely extremely fragile i.e you know it, 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 if they're left out in the open they take immense amounts of damage you know there's the balance factor for it but like i said everyone says that the snow trooper is overpowered the snow trooper is not overpowered in my in my own in my humble opinion the snow trooper is underpowered and yes i know my mods are shit like i said i'm a free to play player and i'm level 82 I've been playing this game now for about two months, three months. And I've just recently unlocked Gar Saxon on Death Trooper through uh, the store. I, I, I literally have just unlocked level 9 hard mode. Level 85 gold bosses. See? Like I said, free to play player. That's me. This is my lineup. Free to play player. Free to play player. Just recently got the Night Sisters. Sif Marauder, in my honest opinion, big freaking whoop. Sorry, he's. Nah. Everything I've read up about him, the forums, the Discord channels, you name it, everything I've read up about him, it, it's just fluff. It's just fluff. Um, he's basically a, a, a lesser freaking. He's just a lesser Dooku. That's all he is. Except for Dooku, he is considered support. But, again, support units are supposed to support the units by healing. By doing something to keep the, 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 the team alive. Charret. Perfect. Every time I see Charret in an enemy in, in an enemy lineup in the PvP, I have to take him out. Otherwise, his ability... Which is, in my honest opinion, way too fucking overpowered. It should cap out at three stacks, period. Not endlessly. Because I have quite literally almost got him down to like five hit points. Realized he's got ten stacks of fucking critical heal. His turn, full health. And he didn't even do anything. All he did was just use his ability right here. Whenever a rebel ally is critically hit, he gains heal over time for two turns. At the start of each turn, Chara Umri is alive. He all allies heal over time for 1% and recover their maximum health. Do you see what I'm saying? You're telling me that that, wouldn't, that would not fit in an Empire build. Of course it would. But guess what? Can't use him. Not if you're a true hardcore Empire player. And you know for a fact, EA, Disney. You know for a fact that that is a huge freaking thorn in your side so i literally just gave you the answer scout trooper healer put him in give him a try literally just just grab the model grab show it do a model swap throw him in change the thing from rebel to empire yeah and just play test him and you'll see what i'm talking about you will quite literally revigor and revitalize everything about the empire just by in one simple move. That's it. Give it a shot. Alright guys. Anyway, I'm out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate it. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the video in the comment section down below. And I will do my best to respond. Until then, my friends, take care. And I'll see you in the next video.